We are in uh, northeastern Montana in Macomb County and we're at the site of the Tufts Love T-Rex in the middle of pretty much nowhere. <laughs> I'm Greg Wilson. I'm a vertebrate paleontologist and curator at the Burke Museum. Yeah, so hopefully we bring this down and start to see some bone. In 2015, Jason Love and Luke Tufts, two um, UW alum and Burke Museum volunteers, came out here and they discovered a, the site that we're sitting at. But at the time, it didn't quite look like a, an amazing site to us. There were scraps of big bones. The next summer, we were reminded about this site again. One of our crews came out here and started excavating at this site. And within a week to 10 days, we realized we had quite a special uh, locality with the T-Rex. The left arm would have fit right in here. This is a glenoid fossa. We have a belly rib over here. My name is David Moore, and I am a postdoctoral research fellow uh, in the Department of Biology at the University of Washington, working with Craig Wilson. And I stuck my all in the sand and it went tink. And I was like, ooh, that sounds really hard. And so I just flicked the sand off and out popped a beautiful maxillary tooth of a T-Rex. You can see a little serrated edges on it and everything. It was gorgeous. And by the middle of August, we had prepped out the skull and jacketed the top and rolled it over, jacketed the bottom, and then we had one of the locals come in here and help us get it out. And the idea was this year to come back and reopen the quarry, expand it, and come down on the the bone level. The process of these first two weeks of working down on that bone layer, we found uh, a number of new bones, some ribs, um, some parts of rib cage in the front of the belly, the basket there, and then also most exciting, and we found what we think could be the humerus of T-Rex, and uh, the bone is no longer than my humerus, my ar upper arm bone, which is really amazing to put that in perspective. Let's go ahead and get get all of our tools out of here. We have everything from professors to postdocs uh, to graduate students to undergrads to postbacs to um, volunteers at the Burke Museum. Um, we've got Bruce Crowley who's who's a preparator at the Burke. He comes out and helps every year. And then we have K-12 teachers who've gone to um, Greg Wilson's dig school. It's a whole slew of different people from various backgrounds um, that makes it very interesting and fun. I don't think you can get over um, seeing a T-Rex. T-Rex is um, enormous on a scale that we don't have today on land um, and it's fearsome looking with its huge teeth um, and it's, it's a gorgeous example of evolution. The specimen is going to be one of um, the most complete specimens of T-Rex that are known in the world. So I think it's, it's uh, an amazing thing that uh, we've, we've discovered and I'm super excited to be able to bring that to the Burke in the Pacific Northwest and the University of Washington.